Hello, hello everyone! Good evening and welcome back to the Crochet Couch! Alright. Ice Dragoon, welcome to the channel! Albion Cutter, hey there! <laughs> so today we are going to be crocheting again, but it's going to start off with all of the Twitch and sub related stuff. I don't want to forget about anyone. I don't want that stuff to like go to the wayside and wait a month. So we are going to go ahead and hit that hard. We had a fantastic day yesterday. So we are going to go ahead and get those subscribers done. Rockatel Freeman. Hello, girl. How you doing? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this face cam and we'll go straight to the couch. So how are you guys this day today? Or week? Some of you guys I haven't seen in a while. Albion, haven't seen you in a bit. Rocket, haven't seen you in a little while. I had a bunch of new people stop by yesterday. It was awesome. It's always good to see friendly, friendly faces. All right, so this particular square is for Nick. Nick, 990088. Uh... We had a bunch of a bit wars, and he hit his first bit goal, which is that 5,000 bits. Building 3D printer? What kind of 3D printer is it? Uh, I know when Jingles got his printer, he made sure to get a Delta. Uh, he wanted the the three different ways of adjustment. I think part of it was just bragging rights. I'm pretty sure he said the next time he gets one, he just wants a, a XY, XYZ. Or maybe just an XY printer. That'd have to be XYZ. Annette a eight. And at eight, all right, I will let him know. He's busy playing Minecraft. I will be back playing Minecraft, guys. I will be back doing that uh, after my enormous commission is done. All right, so we got Nick's thing here. We'll go ahead and finish his up. This gets, yeah, it gets cut this way. And give him a nice, uh, nice tag here. Of course, I have to drop it on the floor, right? And it matches the floor. A family reunion? Was it a good family reunion, or is it like one of those obligation ones? Sometimes it can be great, and sometimes you can just be like, I'm here because I'm supposed to be here, plastic smile. Or sometimes you can really honestly enjoy them. I, for the most part, my family reunions, I mostly enjoy them. Um, it just kind of depends which family members show up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I can, I'll use my notebook to go ahead and write the names on here. I don't want to write directly on because this isn't a solid piece of fabric. There's a lot of holes in it. I don't want to... Mark up the, the mat. It's actually fun. Yeah. See, that's the best kind. Because then, like, you're doing your your family obligation stuff, but doesn't feel like obligation. My family hasn't had a proper family reunion in quite a while. Uh, my niece is having a baby shower, though. My niece? No, let's try this again. My cousin's having a baby shower. Um, and I think a lot of family's going to show up to that. And I won't be able to make it. It's on the 30th. But I'm going to mail out one of my baby blankets that I've made. Partially because I want to I wanna give her something. And it would be nice to have, my, have some of my family members outside of just my sister's kids have some of my crocheted items. Um, plus, it's it's just a thing that's been sitting. I made it because... Honestly, I took some of what I thought were the ugliest colors in my stash, and I'm just like, I feel like crocheting. I feel like getting it out. Um, <laughs> that's actually one of the reasons I went back to crocheting was uh, I just missed it so much. And uh, so I made this baby blanket. And I'm like, I don't know anyone who's having a baby, but I'm <laughs> now I have this blanket around for when I need it, and now is when I'll need it. So. Along with all the giveaway stuff that happened during the St. Jude's um, fundraising session, which I haven't sent most of those out yet. I'm about halfway done making them, or, or like prepping them, putting them in envelopes, getting addresses on them. Um, I'm also super bad. I haven't sent out my Mother's Day card yet, and my Father's Day card is sitting over there, and I just 
everything's going to be sent out in one giant, like, trip to the post office. They're going to love me when I show up. But there's a place, like a... It's not an actual post office. It's like one of those postal services type place. So, and they're hardly ever busy. So maybe they will love me when I walk in with a ton of packages. Your family is so relaxed, and your cousin showed up, and then it turned into a huge-ass fight. Oh, no! <laughs> like, when my mom's... I think it's her... Our, my family is so... My mom's side of the family, to try and describe it... I'll just say, when her one of her brothers shows up, she has... I think there's eight kids in their family. Oh, uh, when my Uncle Phil shows up, like, he's the one who's, like, the frat boy type dude. He's like, everyone, let's get drinking! I brought drinks! And, like, that's when stuff just is dumb. <sighs> like, funny and crazy and... And his boys are, are big dudes. They're, like, big football dudes. <laughs> so they show up, too. It's just, it really turns into a party. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the family is actually pretty, like, laid back. And just kind of like, yeah, we're cool just sitting around, like, snacking on stuff. <laughs> Jingles hasn't met that side of my family yet. All right, getting these guys... I just poked myself in the leg. Um, getting these guys started is what takes the longest, a little mo most attention, because they slide around, and I don't want to end up with a super crooked... Like, I'm trying to do these at a 90-degree angle. So, yeah, that's like my cousins. Uh, yeah, I... I mean, the rest of us, like, it's like we have those kind of friends, but, like, that's not who we are. So, like, we can hang out and we can drink with them, but that's not how we, by ourselves and in our element, I guess, that's not how we would party. Like, our type of party is just doing random stuff. Like, my other cousins and my brother and sister and I, we're, we're up for, like, the random fun, the weird stuff where you, like, dress up crazy and go out in public and weird out other people. <laughs> that's our idea of a good time. We don't need to get drunk to do it. <laughs> and I, I, let me put this, I've never done it with my cousins. I've done it with my friends. And I'm pretty sure my cousins have probably done it with their friends. So for us to all to get together and do it. Hey, Southpaw Hookin! Good to see you. I don't know who you are, but I love your name. I'm also left-handed. So, oh yeah. Um, and. I want to say, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't crochet left-handed. Um, I'm, I'm a weird left-handed person. I'm kind of an ambidextrous one, so. <laughs> That's Jingles making a joke on how I shouldn't be left-handed. So, uh, but yeah, your left-handed stuff, and you can't do anything with your right. Yeah, my dad, my dad joked that I was a really screwed-up left-handed person because I could use any pair of scissors. Uh, I could like cutting up vegetables, whatever. I could use both hands to to cut up veggies. Uh, I could play softball like a uh, like an, a normal kid, which he was actually happy for. Auto mod? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove this message that Rocket just put up. And this is hilarious that it got caught. Way to go, Rocket. Hello, Dead Nicholas. Hola. It says profanity. Guys, I'm gonna throw this out there. What Rocket wrote is not profanity, and this is hilarious. My cousins are hookers. Crocheters. But here's the funny thing, like, hookers... Ugh. 
I think I'm going to have to add hookers to the safe list <laughs> on my channel. It hasn't ever caught it. Because someone else said things said hookers up earlier, yeah. Yeah, so, so my dad was very happy he never had to buy me a special uh, glove for, like, t-ball and softball and stuff like that. Because he was, like, afraid that he would. He's like, I don't even know where to get it, but, like, I'd need to get you a special glove. Like, he was so concerned about it when I was younger. Um, but then when he found out that I could play and I didn't need it, he's like, you're a really messed up left-handed person. I'm like, well, it made your life easier, didn't it? And he's like, well, yeah. <laughs> Me das mod? Uh, no, no te voy, mod. Sorry. No te doy. All right, so we got Nick's square here. We're only about a quarter, quarter of the way with this guy sewn on. I'm trying to think about what other weird left-handed stuff. I mean, you always have to worry about where you sit at a table. Uh, the only, no, I'm not the only lefty in my family. Um, my dad's twin brother is left-handed. My brother's also left-handed, and I. Th I think some of my cousins are, but I don't remember which ones. And I think they're mostly on my dad's side of the family. Uh, and one of my crochet gals, uh, actually I was talking to her, she's like, whatever project, because I, I have this big project coming up, and we talked about it, and she's like, well, whatever I start, I have to finish. She's like, because I crochet left-handed. I was like, okay. And I was like, I could probably figure out how to crochet left-handed. I would probably be really slow at it. Um, but I could probably do it. So let's see, holding the hook. I mean, I write left-handed. See, so here's a really interesting thing. I went to get some real, uh, like, I wanted ergonomic uh, hooks. I was kind of looking into them a few years ago. I went to the store. You're unfortunately the only one. Oh, wow. Hablas un poco espanol. Si, did. Si, Nicolas. Um... My family plots seating arrangements when we go out. Aww. Uh, I was gonna, I was on my way to tell a story here. A uh, story about being left-handed, or a story about Spanish, or a story about sewing stuff. Oh no, the story. Okay, a story about getting crochet hooks. This is a left-handed story. So, I crochet with my right hand. I hold my hook in my right hand. And I went to the, and I hold it like this when I crochet. I'm usually holding it like this, and sometimes I'll, I'll leverage it against actually my palm of my hand. So I go to the store, I'm looking for ergonomic hooks. And the guy behind the counter, I was so impressed with this. He's like, do you, <laughs> uh, he's like, do you, he's like, how do you hold your hook? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? I hold my hook. Like, uh, what kind of question is that? He's like, do you hold it like a toothbrush? Or like a pencil. So if I crocheted left-handed, I would be holding my crochet. Or I'd be holding my hook like a pencil. But crocheting right-handed, I hold it like a toothbrush. I just it blew my mind. I was like, wow, there are two ways of holding your hook. Uh, this is a tejer. Uh, es, es the stream usualmente es para tejer con gancho. Uh, me, me aprendí, me aprendo como tejer con agujo, pero no haces en stream, en el stream. You hold yours like a toothbrush. All right, so toothbrush, toothbrush less left-handed. Okay. I don't know if I could crochet with like that with my left hand, but that's definitely how I crochet with my right hand. If I did it on my left, it would definitely be writing, because I, I write left-handed. That's... And I think that's how people determine... Well, not determine right-handedness or left-handedness, but, like, what your dominant hand is. Which is usually determined by which one you write with. You go handed writing utensil to someone, and they'll usually grab it with the hand that they write with. So... All 
All right, so now we are doing detail work with needle and thread. What's another fun fact, Jingles? Hmm? Whoa. Oh, is it when you throw something at someone? I missed it. Oh, the wing got it, yeah. So he... Uh, I mean, I would, but that would have been my right hand. Not my left. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess I missed it. It wasn't really at your face. He's saying, so if you throw something at someone, you usually catch it. It's coming at you. He says, failed because the fan blew. It was just a paper towel. Okay, you gotta go. All right. Bites and kisses. Nice. See you later, Albion. Have a fantastic evening. Uh, I do not know what... Hello, hello, Crochet Dude! Thank you so much for that host. We are making uh, bit squares and sub squares today. Getting caught up on uh, on the past few streams of what what's been going on. So, uh, were you streaming tonight? Are you just uh, hanging out and hosting? I appreciate it very much. Uh, mascotas, mascotas, tiene mascotas? I mean, if you're asking about mascots, uh, it would be that kitty cat there. El gato? But if that's not what that word means, I don't know what that word is. Um, I'm just making a guess. Que es mascota? You'll be streaming a little later. I mean, it asked you how your day was, but you're probably going to tell me it's yarn-tastic. But really, what have you been up to? Like, projects or just real-life stuff or... <laughs> You're a pencil. Oh, rocket. <laughs> yeah, I notice the people who, like, when I'm watching streams, or, like, streams and how-to videos, uh, the people who do the pencil holding, they're actually the ones who grab the yarn with the hook part of the crochet hook, which isn't something I usually do. I kind of wrap it around with my fingers. Um, and someone said that twists it the wrong way, but I was kind of... I was doing it really slow yesterday and watching exactly what I did. And I kind of wrap it, like, I mostly wrap it the same way it would be picked up if I were to grab it with the hook. Mess with your new computer and finish your pinwheel pillow. Dog or cat? So. Oh, yes. Uh, and... Uh, en la casa hay cinco, cinco gatos. Es mucho. Para el stream, es un gato. Se llama Hyperion. Y también... Tango, no, como se dice, stickers. De Hyperion. This one's very shiny. Como espejo. No me gusta mucho. Pero... Pero a ese de Hyperion... On la, was it Yana? Lana? Yarn? Bread? And yes, that's my favorite. Hyperion con un bolo. The dope baker scarf. That dope baker scarf was made by one of Jingle's friends. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually pretty long. It's it's kind of it's folded here, and it's kind of uh tucked into the corners so it doesn't fall 
Uh, I end up straightening it out a couple times during stream because I keep leaning back into it. But yeah, it is it is the proper size. So that was... I, I unfortunately cannot claim that, but I love having it as a decoration uh, on the couch there. Like, it just it fits. It's so... It's pretty awesome. Un poco. <laughs> yes. Alright guys, so today's stream is going to be 50% uh, English, 50% Spanish. That's good. That's good stuff. Actually, I've been considering trying to do uh, a stream entirely in Spanish. ¿Qué es tu opinión? Un stream enteramente uh, en español? Usaré uh, el diccionario muchas veces cuando cuando hacer eso, pero uh, será un you know, buen práctica. Será buen práctica. Uh, también hay un tejera con agujo se llama Azelita la sabia. Uh, ella hacer, no, hacer stream, es un streamer, uh, pero ella habla español y inglés también. Let's see, you surprised your dad with one after, yeah, I heard it, it takes forever. Uh, so was it knit or crochet? Uh, Southpaw, sorry, I should probably, when I switch back and forth, I should say... So Southpaw, you said it took a year, but was, it was, did you knit it or did you crochet it? I mean, if Jingles didn't already have one, he would ask me to learn to knit so I could make him one. I know, I know, I was going to get there. Like, he wants me to learn how to knit so I can make him a proper hat from Jane or from Firefly, the Jane hat. I made a crochet version of it, but the actual movie version is a knit one. So he wants me to knit a hat, a Jane hat for him. First I need to learn how to knit, period, and then I can learn how to knit in the round, and then I can learn how to change colors, and then I can probably figure out how to make him a Jane hat. Pásame su stream? Uh, pásame? Oh, you crocheted the scarf. Cool. I don't know what that would mean in context. Espera traigo el cuaderno de inglés para hablar un poco inglés. A notebook in English? Oh, okay. Pelúculas uh, son, son buenas modas para aprender. Y uh, en este momento... Well, no. Trabajo por un, un compañía que usa los traslad trasladores por uh, películas y uh, series de televisión. Traductor, that's the word. Translators, traductor. Um, Yo no soy un traductor, uh, pero yo da los proyectos a los traductores. All right, we have finished. Next little name tag here. Go ahead and snip it. I don't remember what it is I really wanted to knit and why I want to learn. Other than part of one of the big reasons I want to learn how to knit is like a lot of people I know knit. Uh, and it, even knowing how to crochet, knitting is a completely different vocabulary. So I kind of want to know what people are going through. 
Uh, a lot of clothing is better done, I think, in, in a knit, uh, by knitting, than crochet. And it would be nice to be able to make clothing. And I may have to step away and wash the scissors. They're really dirty. Alright, guys. Here we go. Nick, 99, 0, 0, 88. Boom! His bit square is done. He has reached the 5,000 bit mark. He has earned that uh, that teal badge and that... What the heck is this, Jingles? I... What is this? Just a second, guys. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> All right, probably know some words. Crocheted. Pasta mi sustenu mi spera. Traigo el cuaderno. Aprendí en la escuela media y no era muy bien. Oh, that's bad. You seem to have learned enough. Like, that's some good tenses and stuff. Alright, I'm currently looking for push pins. So I can put this on the there we go, on the pins. I wanna put it up on the, the board. Get it out of the way. Make sure we can all see it. Dun -da -dun. We have a new bit square. Yay, bit square. Go ahead and stick it here. It's kinda like a puzzle trying to put stuff on this board, making sure it all fits. Oh no, but I'm covering this up. Go ahead and move uh, her around. Mm, now we'll keep her there. Move this. There we go. That's better. All right, one down. So we have Nick's thing. Yay! What have we got here? How lost are you? How old are you? Oh, um, if you stick around, I'll probably say something regarding it. I don't feel like just like saying it straight out. But um, mid thirties. Okay, so Phoenix Fire wanted a rainbow square. Phoenix! Right. Oh, also, I know Garanel's probably not here yet because everyone's probably on the server. So, and Sabs is playing Minecraft instead of hanging out modding the channel. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, Garanel said he wanted purple, and I was like, you know, I have more... Um, more yarn, and so Garena wanted, he's like, anything purple. So I went in my stash, and I found, is like, a purple, a blue, and a gray. Gray and light, light gray. So, uh, I will go ahead and use this for his square, and it will enter into my sub-square color repertoire. Also this blue, it's a light blue and dark blue twisted together. The uh, two ply, well, it's it's a multi ply. I think it's a four ply, but two strands are light blue, two strands are dark blue. This will also be part of this. And yes, Phoenix. Now I gotta find the end of this purple. Not entirely sure where. There we go. That was easier than I thought. And I was using 
somewhere in my notes, I have what hook size I need to use. I think it's an H. So guys, this is literally my stream notebook. Scarf. Well, it used to be my pattern notebook. Or my, this was mostly my fiber prep notebook for when I was doing some spinning and dyeing of wool. Let's see. Yeah, I've got some s sort of notes here. J hook. Granny squares are made with the J hook. That's my note. Let's see. How are oi? Are you trying to ask how are you today? Es lo clásico eso. Alright, there's a J hook. Where are you from, rocket propelled free man? Right, so we'll go ahead and. So, what I'm going to do is I'll make all the squares first and then I'll sew all of them on. Two and three. Let's do some clusters here. Oh, guys, you know what? Guess what I forgot again? My glasses. Got my glasses again. Get up. See, by the time I realize I forget my glasses when I lean back and I'm further away. Uh, and that's about where I can't see. Like here, I can see. Yeah, Bilbo. I don't even know what that means. Muchas nuevas tarjetas para yo. Tarjetas? No, palabras. Muchas nuevas palabras para aprender. I am very rusty on my Spanish. All right, grab. Also, my purse has become like packed, jam packed. All I was trying to do is find the glasses, which aren't even in the case. All right, guys, I'm gonna step upstairs. Katrina! All right, guys, I'm gonna step upstairs, grab my glasses so I can actually read the chat from my. Well, maybe I won't go grab the glasses. I'll just make it bigger. All right, I'll just make it bigger. I don't need to see myself, I just need to see the chat. Aha, there we go. How are you doing tonight, Katrina? One and two, we are making sub squares. Our recent subs. Subs and resubs, I should say. So they have requested purple and rainbow colored. All right, so have one and two and three. All right. Rockets originally from Chicago. Gotta pull this through. There's one. Two. And three. Uh, so since you're asking, Dead Nicholas, uh, where are you from? De donde eres, Nicholas? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm I'm not originally from Chicago. I was just reading what you were saying. I'm sorry. I've lived in Chicago for a little bit. It was not a pleasant. I wasn't in Chicago City. Um, I was in one of the suburbs. It was just a very strange living situation and not great. <laughs> so, yeah, I probably wouldn't go back unless I had a really, really good reason. Right. Two, and we'll go ahead and stitch this right in here. Not grab the whole piece of yarn. Still did not grab the whole piece of yarn. Two. All right, so what's everyone else up to tonight? Two, three. Two. Two. Three right here. I had a story for you guys, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I do now. Uh, how many of you guys are on Ravelry? This is kind of a Ravelry story. Hey, Pixie! Great to see you! Yeah, I got, like, a bunch of people I haven't seen in a while hanging out. Uh, I did take a little time off uh, after the St. Jude streams. I pushed myself a bit hard. I was tired. Uh, I also had a, a trip that we had planned, uh, so we went on a trip... For a weekend and got tired from that too. Technically you are, but rarely visit. Yeah, I it's been a long time since I've been on Ravelry. I went I've been going on it recently because people were referencing patterns uh that I had to go check out. And uh I was cleaning up some of my yarn stash stuff around here. And I had all the labels. Like, you know, you keep the labels for the patterns or whatever. And I'm like, wait a second. These are all free patterns. They're probably on Ravelry. So I took, like, this pile of yarn labels that I had, sat down at the computer, and added them to my favorites. <laughs> and, like, I, you can make a bundle. And I thought I created the bundle, but I couldn't find it after I created it. And I was like, I don't want to create it again. But just, like, literally says, from yarn labels. <laughs> So, just kind of organizing it that way. It's like, all right, good. Now I've I've tagged it. I have it. I can throw the labels away. <laughs> and the cruise was awesome. Uh, it's it's a really good deal. It's a it's a huge. I'd say you know you get a good bang for your buck. It's we were there for three nights, four days, three night cruise, and it was less than four hundred dollars a person. Like, that's a pretty good deal. All food was covered. Um, certain drinks were covered. If you wanted, like, alcohol or soda, you had to pay for it. But you could get um, tea and coffee and juice. There was some juice that you could get and hot chocolate for free. And there's a bunch of entertainment options. There's, you know, like, pool with jacuzzi. They have an adult-only, like, 21-plus area uh, of the deck. So, like, you don't have to deal with children running around. <laughs> and nobody that was... Ooh, I put this in the wrong spot. That Oh, my God, that looks terrible. It kind of split yarn underneath it. Jeez. Awful is that? Um... And a lot of people we went with on the cruise, they had, well, some of them had their kids, but they weren't, like, little kids. 
so they could have their kids go off and do whatever they wanted to do. Yeah, there's uh there's like sing along shows in the evening and comedy hour and just a lot of really a lot of good entertainment. And you were always going somewhere doing something. Um like my Saturday morning I went to a yoga class. Now that was a little that was that was an extra charge, but it wasn't much. Um, I went to a yoga class. You, by the way, you change clothes so many times on a cruise ship. Like, <laughs> so in the morning I went to yoga class, so I wore like, you know, workout clothes. Uh, I went back and I changed so we could go to breakfast. And then after breakfast, we went and laid out in the sun and hung out in one of the hot tubs and whatever. So then you change into like, you know, your swimsuit and stuff because you're in and out of the hot tub and you're hanging out and laying out on the chairs or whatever. And then we came back, and we got dressed so we could do lunch. And then you uh, then you have, like, I don't even remember what we did after lunch. I think we, we hung out in, like, they have a library area. And so we hung out with in my knit and crochet group. So we hung out in the library area. And we, you know, did our crafting. Because uh, after being out in the sun, you know, you kind of wanted to, like, calm down, you know, chill out a bit and not be in the sun and cool off, really. Uh you, as as, much, as nice as the sun is, you're we're you know we're in we're in Mexico. It's it's hot. Um, so you want to be careful. So yeah, we're working on our projects uh, in the library area, and then we get changed for dinner. Well, we didn't get changed, did we get? Yeah, because that particular evening was like their fancy night, so we went and got changed and dressed up real nice for that. It just oh we had cocktail hour. That was it. Uh, our group did cocktails because we, we went as a group. And so one of the perks of going as a group was that we got our own private little cocktail hour. Uh, and that was that was on the house. That was free. So the, the drinks at that event, we did not have to pay for. But it was, there was just so much to do. And then in the evenings, like we went and we went and listen, we went to piano bar where you could request songs and sing along. And after that, you go to a comedy show. It's just, there's just so much to do. <laughs> I think I averaged 10,000 steps a day. Which is awesome, yet unfortunate, because you're in the middle of the ocean, and you don't have any signal, so I couldn't, like, get credit for it on my fitness app. <laughs> it, was, it was saved on my watch, but not on my fitness app. But yes, I would definitely do it again. Um... It's just, it's just, it's a good experience, and like I said, it's a really good rate. And we went with our knit and crochet guild, so it's like all cool people that we already knew. Um, I probably would recommend going with people you know, like a group like that. We had 20 people in our group, so I think it was 10 rooms, 10 or 11 rooms of people. Um, it, it might be a little... It was nice because there was always people doing something different. And you're like, oh, so-and-so is doing this. It's like, oh, that sounds really cool. Um, hey, can I join you? And usually you're like, yeah, that's cool. Let's do it together. And so you, whatever other people are doing, you probably have a chance of getting to do it too. Because, you know, you have other people to do it with. However, the yoga thing I actually did on my own. And it was nice to to do that kind of alone and... I feel like people are judging me, but one of the ladies who went with us, like, she's a Pilates instructor, and I'm like, I feel awkward, like, because I'm not, I don't do any of that on a regular basis, or an instructor. <laughs> I, I felt like I'd, I'm just, it would have been, uh, I'm not in shape, all right, there, I said it. <laughs> But at least one day, you know, both Jingles and I got a workout in. So, like, that was good. All right. So, we have Phoenix Fire Square. Woo! His square's done. Next is, I believe this is Garanil Square. is going to be the purple. We're going to use the brand new stuff. Now, here's the thing. This is brand new to me. I have never used this. So, Garanil, you are getting yarn that I have not used yet. Oh my God, I want to be in shape. I need to. I need to start working on it. I keep saying I need to work on it. I just need to get up and do it. Um, I keep saying someday. Uh, 
Um, it'll happen. All right, guys, this yarn is a little, so new yarn, new yarn uh, review right here, live review. Uh, it's, now I looked at the label because I do have another one. Oops, that, I do have another um, skein of this. There we go. I forgot to, I was missing a, a single chain. I, I was missing a chain stitch. So this is slightly thinner than the the worsted weight. Uh, this yarn is from Italy. It is 50% acrylic, 50% wool. Panda what? Nice panda back there. I has a panda behind me. Jingles, what's on my thing that looks like... Oh, this guy? This panda? Uh, let's see. This particular one... I'm going to say no. Uh, I did not get this at a fiber event. This is when I actually got on eBay. When I started getting back into crochet in 2010 or 2011, I kind of had like an on-off thing. And I had, I had like my first real well-paying job. I found a really good deal on eBay. It said there was 90 plus skeins for $100. Yes, it is the mouse pad. So after shipping, it was like $130 for 90 skeins. And honestly, I counted them all. It was something like 92 skeins, balls, or partials. And that's a fantastic deal. That worked out to like $125 each. $125. And this is 50% wool, 50% acrylic. Uh, there's two of them. It still has the label on it from Italy. It, is, it was a darn good deal. This, uh, the particular, I had, it was two packages. They had to ship it to me in two boxes. It was huge. So I, I bought up somebody else's stash, apparently. Um, but that was the start of my stash. So. And I've had multiple people give me yarn since then. They're like, hey, I don't do, I don't use it anymore. Hey, I work for a, an estate company, and we have all this yarn and needles and stuff. Do you want it? <laughs> uh, and then I bought another lot of yarn on eBay that um, it wasn't as good of a deal, and it was a lot of the weird um, novelty yarns. Like the fun fur, some of the eyelash yarn. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with most of that. Because like, that's all like... To me, I use that for edging and trimming. But yeah, the one I got in like 2011, that was a good deal. Uh, and it wasn't all like red heart. I mean, obviously, like I said, wool acrylic blend. Uh, let's see. The, these three here, the rainbow, the teal, and the blues... These are all Red Heart. Um, I think the Rainbow is probably one of my older ones. The Teal I just bought uh, just for streaming. The Blue I've had from a previous project. And this stuff is actually really cool. I bought this when I was in Spain. Uh, I was trying to like finger knit a scarf. It didn't quite work out. Uh, and I've made a few other things with it. But that's why it's such a tiny little thing. Uh, but it's so soft. I don't remember what the blend is. I think it's a I think it's a wool blend. But I only have that much of it. So I'm not there's not much I can do with it. One, two, three, okay. Go ahead and yeah, just a touch smaller. One and two. Is Ice Dragoon still here? Like, you were asking me on Discord today if I'd be streaming. I was, and I did not see your first message. I saw Capamon say hi to you, but I hadn't loaded in my chat yet. So I didn't actually see what you wrote. One, two, and three. I said hi, but... Oh, so the Kickstarter, the, that message just popped up. 
So the Kickstarter, guys, we have hit $1,000, which means that we've opened up glasses. So if you want to take a look at that link and check out the patterns we have, they are all also now available on Glassware. Uh, we spent last Saturday uh, making sure that we could get the pattern on the glasses that looked right without too much distortion, and it looks great. Where did you end on the final day of St. Jude? We had $300. That's, I didn't quite make my $500 goal, but we did have 300 so that is excellent. It's still a great, great cause, and uh, we've, we've definitely made a dent. It'll make a difference. But yeah, it was 300 even. I had someone donate on the last... On my last day of streaming, I think that was, hmm, what was that? That may have been Nick, or... Hold on, I should have a note here. I do not have a note. It's probably in my other notebook. I've been using two notebooks, and it's a very bad idea. I really should just have one. All right, so one, two, three, three, four here. That looks like four. All right, so this yarn is definitely quite a bit thinner. Uh, so it's going to be a slightly smaller square. I may have to do three rounds instead of the normal two that I do to make it about the same size. Uh, it might turn out to be the same size. It's going to be the same size hook. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, Pixie, you were a fantastic supporter in all of that, too. So, I'm very glad that you were here and you kept people energized and enthused and uh, motivated to keep going. And so, and that's not just, you know, motivating everyone in the channel. You, you motivated me, too, to keep going. So I appreciate that. All right, and one and two. I kind of wish Garanel was in stream so I could show him this. Hey Jingles, is Garanel on the server? You want to tell him I'm making him his subsquare right now? If I was not streaming crochet and didn't have a big crochet project to do uh, I would totally be doing Minecraft because like that's literally what all the cool kids are doing right now the Minecraft server <laughs> but I have crochet stuff to do I gotta be responsible and until that project's done I can't be playing any Minecraft You can tell him I pulled out some purple yarn just for him. He'll get it. So yeah, a lot of the people who were here yesterday, who won the... I haven't done the drawing for the Amagurumi yet. Um, that has not yet happened. I kind of, I want to get caught up with all my other stuff first. You even playing Fallout 4? Yeah, I want to get caught up with all these other projects. Um, plus, I got a, a, a big commission that I need to prioritize. Uh, that's, I need to finish everything by Sunday evening. Uh, so the, the Amagurumi bit drawing, is whatever, is going to wait. Projects. Yes, many projects. Hello, Sabs. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Garanel, you're muted since you're streaming. Lurk, though. Okay, um, I wanted to show you, though, um, that I, since you said, you know, purple, purple anything, I realized that I probably should go get something purple, and I went through my stash, especially for you, dude, and I pulled this out. 
See if this can at least catch the color. No, we're gonna go to the face cam. Face cam catches color way better. Hola. So this is a purple, light blue, gray, and light gray blend of colors. It's 50% wool, 50% acrylic. But this is the purple just for you, Garano. Just for you. All right. Yeah, I was saying that all the cool kids are playing Minecraft. And uh, that's what I'd be doing if I didn't have... Uh, the stream responsibilities and the uh, the new project. So, but we're we're taking care of subsquares first today, uh, and once this is has been completed, we'll go back to those uh, crocheted undies. <laughs> all right, this got all sorts of twisted, so we gotta untwist this all before I even continue. I'm not even sure how it got this way. There we go. This will this work? One, two, three, and then I need to chain two. There we go. All right, so Garanel's streaming. I think Needy Bird's probably streaming, and Nebaval's probably everyone. Okay, so the request is. Uh, if you go in the Discord, I have a picture in the Discord. They found these tiny little underwear gift card holders, and they wanted to, them to be made bigger so they looked like people-sized underwear. And it's cute, like it's a bright color underwear, and it's outlined in white. So I have to, I'm basically looking at the picture and designing something that's like, probably like, Five to ten times, well, not five, not ten, it's somewhere like ten times the size of what's on the picture. So even if I downloaded the pattern, it really wouldn't help me because I need to be significantly larger. So I'm just kind of using it as a guide. It's kind of a gag thing, uh, but it it's going to pay well. So why not do it? <laughs> okay, we're almost done with the the first square with this yarn. And then I'll have to check and see if it's big enough, otherwise I might do a third row. I think it'll be close enough because the hook is the same size. So it will be close enough to everything else to fit. And chain one and there we go. Done with Garanelles. Right. For some reason, this seems to have a much more like rounded look to it. Yeah, this is definitely. It's just not as thick. So the other one is very thick. This one is thinner, but it's still the same size. So we'll go ahead and tie this off. Some room to weave in the ends. It shouldn't be too hard, though. I made bikinis. Yeah, it's kind of like a bikini sort of thing. Um, they're, they're male briefs, though, so they look a little different. They have a little more substance to them. Uh, I'm at about the halfway point on the first pair. They want three pairs in three different colors. And then I showed them a picture, and I was like, this was done with cotton yarn. They're like, we want vibrant colors. And I was like, okay, guess I'm going to get the uh, the acrylic. So my first one is kind of uh, a wash. Or at least the first half of the first one is a wash. So I'm just glad I asked early on and showed them images. So 
Progress. There we go. Garanel Subsquare is done. First Subsquare. Hopefully the first of many. Boop -a -doop. And then we'll get names on them later. Uh, Paint and Carl. Um, Carl, I think, will get this blue. Just to start with the dark part. This guy is not the one I will be using. And then Paint will get the new blue. Banana hammocks. Not quite that tiny. They, they, the first request was specifically tidy whities but colored ones. And I was like, all right, well, they're not tidy whities then. <coughs> oh, my goodness. <coughs> Kayla is a rabbit. Oh, my gosh, girl. Thank you for the raid. Guys, Kayla is rabbit is someone I know from the uh, Twitch Kittens Discord. She's one of our Twitch Kittens community members. Fantastically fun gal. What were you streaming tonight? Woohoo! Frenetic Forge. Hey, I think I've seen you around the Discord also. We are making subsquares tonight and talking about uh, crocheted tidy whities. So that was a uh, a request that had been made of me. I need to finish three pairs by Sunday evening. Just drawing. So I'm catching up with some of the uh, the stream goodies right now before I go ahead and start on those uh, the underwear, <laughs> the uh, crocheted underwear. I should probably have a picture of what I've been uh, asked to do. Um, it's I posted it in my Discord, but I can pull it up on the phone and show you on the phone here. Actually, if I post it in the Discord, I can post the link in chat. Because it's so crazy. Hi, guys. Alright, so I think I just posted it in general chat. Was it in general? Oh, no, it was in the Fiber Arts chat and pics. That's it. Alright, so copy link. Have I played WoW lately? I haven't. My subscription ran out. All right, guys, so there's that link. Oh, look. Hi, Hyperzango. Hi. <laughs> so that picture is the picture I was given. They're like, can you make these bigger? They're like, we want something like this, but bigger. So <laughs> uh, that's the request, and that's what I'll be doing. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. That's not a problem. Odd, but no, not a problem. <laughs> so that is that is going to be the project that we start working on after this one. They are cute. That's this thing. It's like okay, well, I want to do it justice. I need to, you know, make sure. So I'm essentially writing the pattern for those as if, uh, as if someone was wearing them. They haven't really. Basically, they're just going to kind of hang around and be, a, like I said, a gag gift. So they're going to be in the background. No one's going to be wearing them. Um, but they need to look like they could be worn. So I've started on the red one uh, already. Actually, I can show you about how far I've gotten. It doesn't look like much. So the red is what I was working on last night. And we have... I need to... Stitch marker, so I don't uh, pull out my stitches here. So I finished mostly like the waistband part of it. Ooh, I should not have stuck my hook in there like I did. Now I have a big old hole. Crap. I kind of thought about that when I did it last night. I'm like, this feels kind of tight. I shouldn't have done that. So I have. There we go. So this is the waistband part. Right here where these two little guys, ugh, you can't see these. So where these two are dangling, I've got two orange markers, one right here and one right here. 
And so this is where we're starting to decrease. And so that'll kind of come down like this. I only got like two rows of decrease, so you can't really see it. But yeah, I was like, yeah, that looks like it could start to... Uh, it looks like it possibly could fit. Definitely not someone like me, but it's just going to be a, a gag. That's going to be the next project. After we get our subsquares done and up on the board. Let's see, we got uh, Nix here for his bit donations. And uh, I think about a week ago we finished some of the other people's. We got a few more today. So yeah, cute little crochet tidy whities Tidy whities that aren't white. Does that even make them tidy whities I feel like that's one of those, like, philosopher, philosoph how do you say that? The thinking dinosaur. The philosoraptor. You know, where he's got, like, his little top hat, and he's like, hmm, the tidy whities are blue, are they even tidy whities I think it would make a good meme. Jingles is laughing at me. <laughs> Which is why I'm calling them briefs, because they're not white. <laughs> they are crocheted briefs. Alright, so I have... One, two, three... One, two, three. Dang it, I have too many stitches in these. At the very beginning. Picking up on the subs. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. It's always nice. It's a good feeling. Alright, so one, two, three. Um, and then... I, I counted... At one point I had four. Each cluster is only supposed to have three stitches in it. One, two, two. This should be three. Cluster stitch number three and cluster number two. So what were you drawing, Kayla? Three. I feel like we have to go watch Kayla's VODs to see. Because I know after a stream, like, I can't hang around another streamer's channel for too long after I raid them because I'm just exhausted. For those of you who were here with me last night, like, that's why I ended. I'm like, alright, I'm going to crash. I need to go right now. Bye! Okay, I pulled this a little too tight, a little too soon, so it's going to be a little rough to get around this next one. So this is Carl the Actual Cox uh, Subsquare. Carl? Yeah. Alright, so one, two, three, and then one and two. Go ahead and do our slip stitch. And turn. You didn't even see me on last night. That's weird. I was on my. I was on between. Uh, let's see. I think I started a little late. So it was like 8:15 before I went live, and then I was on to like 11:30. I stayed later because I was feeling great. I had had a boba tea at lunch, so I was like, woo, super caffeinated yesterday. Yeah, super caffeinated. But then I could sort of feel myself sliding down. I'm like, okay, uh, I'm going to crash soon. I got to go. And then maybe 10 minutes after I uh, I raided uh, Ogre Magi from the Tavern Presents group, uh, I was like, all right, I need to go straight to bed. Like... Oh, Jingle, well, actually, I, I managed to shut down my computer before I, I went and passed out. Oh, but yeah. 
Do, do, do. And Needy Bird raided last night, and she brought Garanel and Ice Dragoon and Phoenix Fire again. It was very nice to be raided by Needy Bird again. She was uh she was raiding me almost uh she was raiding me a lot when I first started or when I, I should say started again, and uh, and I missed her very much when she went on her hiatus to quit smoking. But I'm very proud of her for quitting. Needy Bird, I'm so proud of you for quitting smoking. It's still hard for her, so um, I don't want to like rub it in or anything. But she had to take a break from streaming because it was a lot of it was like a part of her streaming habits. So she had to like drop streaming for a while to break the habit and come back and not be tempted again. Excuse me, I was like, I'm a little dry something or other tickling in the back of my throat. Alright, almost done with Carl Square here. One and two, Katrina! It's hard for a good while after you quit. Uh, yeah, I hear some people uh, are either, like, they struggle with it. A few people I've heard talk about it say that after they've decided to quit and they have quit, they absolutely cannot stand the sight, the smell of it. Like, it makes them ill or angry. Uh, it was just very, very interesting. Like, they just absolutely hate, they hated it. Like, they had a much lower to tolerance for it than, like, non-smokers. They were just like, oh god, that's smoke, I need to get out of here right now. Whoa, it's like flipping a switch. Ten years on, and I still get the odd craving now and then, even though they're pretty rare. I rarely even think about it. Yeah, probably, like, different things, you know, uh, situations or whatever remind you of something subconsciously, and you're like, hey, it would be nice for that right now. Uh, I was never... I was never, like, a, a constant smoker, but, like, if I was drinking and having a really good time, uh, occasionally I'd bum a smoke from someone. But I haven't done that in, like, three or four years, probably because I haven't gone to any parties or anything like that. <laughs> or, like, not that kind of party. Still love the smell of fresh cigarette smoke, but I abhor the taste of it, and I abhor the smell of stale smoke. Yeah, sort of like that, like if people smell it on you or whatever, like that's when they're just kind of like, God, what have you been doing? Like it's, 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 it's such a strong and negative response from like some of the former smokers who have like sworn it off. Oh gods, I smelled that way, didn't I? Oh, yeah. I do get the random craving. It's very easy to ignore. I know my lungs would pitch a fit if I tried to even take a single puff. Well, I mean, that's, that's a great, uh, you know, like, deterrent. It's like, oh, I know I'm going to hurt if I do this, so let's just not do it. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and tie this off. We have finished Carl, the actual Cox um, square. Carl's sub for, like, three or four months now. Paint has subbed every single month. Woo! Paint Square is next. She gets the first uh, light blue, dark blue yarn that I have here. So, and start that. So, she gets a new color. Garanil got a new color. So lots of stuff going on. Yeah, I had a. A friend who didn't realize like how badly his clothes smelled and he actually got let go from his job halfway through the first day they didn't even make him through the first day because apparently the the company owners were they, they were either former smokers or just very anti-smoking and like this friend got very upset they're like i moved all the way out here for this job blah blah, blah. i can't believe this it's like I, I get that you're upset and all that, but, like, you really, he had, this person has no concept of how 
stinky it is. So he was just, yeah. I was ready to quit and did so because I decided I wanted to, not because I felt like I should or anything. That helped some, but it was still hard, I bet. Yeah, it's just, it was very frustrating to hear him, like, talk ill about the person who got him the job. He's like, so-and-so said I had the job, but I didn't, obviously didn't have the job. It's like, no, you you had the job. Lost it. Azalita, I was just talking about you earlier. Dead Nicholas, are you still on channel? There's a guy who's been hanging out. I'm assuming it's male. I could be wrong. Uh, hanging out in the channel. Um, D-E-D -E Nicholas. And he, uh, Spanish speaker. And so he was asking about some stuff. And I was like, actually, Azalita also streams in Spanish and English, I believe. I was saying I was, I've been thinking about possibly doing a, a Spanish stream. I'm not quite sure how well that would go, but I've been thinking about it. That could have been one of my St. Jude's goals, guys. I could have been like, stream entirely in Spanish, but then like most of my viewer base wouldn't understand it. Alright, uh, I'm starting to think that this particular skein is not center pull. So we're going to kind of uh, hide all this. Uh, just work from the outside. I also had I also had gotten this skein before I knew that what center pull was, and that it existed. So it's possible it is center pull, and I just screwed it up, like years ago when I got it. Oh, no, that is the center. Awesome. It was just wrapped around the middle. What <laughs> plans for next year? Yeah, I should probably start a you know Saint Jude suggestion thing. I mean, I could do it if I if there's something else I have goals for. I think there's another St. Jude something or other in, like, November. I think, like, because I think, um, Mini Burger was doing something in November that was St. Jude's. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Like, one hour of a stream completely in Spanish. I'll definitely have to be sitting at the computer for that one. Uh, so I can look up, like, every other word. <laughs> so we've completed a bit square today. We are working on... Crocheting four sub squares, and then I gotta put their little name tags on it. Honestly, guys, if you notice, the name tag part takes the longest. <laughs> like writing the name on the the ribbon and then sewing it onto the square. Do you guys like that idea, having each individual name on the square, or should I just make a square? I thought people would like their name on the square, which is why I'm doing it. But if people are like, whatever, then I'll be like, whatever, and it'll be fine. You could help, yeah! Did you see me babysit Fair and Quill Tony streams? I did, yeah, when you were at the, um, at the, was it, was it MAGFest? Or a different quilting festival? You were, that was, no, you guys were at the industry one. Yeah, it was super neat, because, like, she's like, yeah, I didn't realize you were editing her book. That's so cool. When uh, we're a little better on money, I'll probably get it, and hopefully both of you can make it to TwitchCon. I want both of you to sign it, because that will be awesome. Quilt Market. All right. Names will help you remember which is whose. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I probably would keep them in a notebook like I currently am. Right now my notebook has gotten way more disorganized than I expected it to. I should probably look into that bullet journal thing that Fairy Wings does. I know a couple other people do. I know some people absolutely swear by it. I just... I'm not quite sure if that kind of 
thing is for me. One and two. My gosh, you guys, this yarn is so soft. It's also very dark. Oops, I didn't want to... You think you can make TwitchCon? Woo! Do you want a roommate for TwitchCon? I don't know. Um, it kind of depends how I'm doing financially. Because the thing is, I can drive up there. It's in San Jose. That's like a two and a half to three hour drive. Where's my phone? Maybe Google can tell me. Uh, and if I go, I'll probably also bring jingles. Would you, if we got a place thing... Uh, would you mind having a dude with us? Ah, you reserved room just in case. Look at you. Yeah, I don't. What, have they announced TwitchCon sit to sales ticket sale dates? Like I'm. We're going to be going to, we're going to, we have so many cons to go to this year, and they're all expensive ones. Um, we missed out on BlizzCon. This is my first year since 2010 that I'm not going to BlizzCon. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little sad about that still. Uh, so there's BlizzCon. There's Comic-Con, which actually we need to look at our calendars and get back to people on rooms for that. As long as he can. <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> so I'll definitely get back to you with an answer on that. I'm actually kind of guessing it would be a yes. So. Then we can split it three ways. The, the cost, the rate. Yeah, Twitch is for networking. He says he'd be interested in going. Like, we went to TwitchCon last year. But not the actual con. We went only for the Naughty by Nature dinner that they were doing. And, I mean, he wasn't really talking to people. I, I dragged him along with. But, uh, I mean, he was kind of talking to some people here and there and whatever. But um, he was saying that he'd be interested in going to it again. He'd be going to the, the event next year also. He was just like, everyone's so cool. <laughs> like, they're just all cool. He's like, you guys act like you've known each other for years. And I'm like, well, we kind of have. At least a year, year and a half. <laughs> it was just, it was very neat being able to, like, talk to people. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, actually give Vinny Burger a hug and, and talk to Beetle and uh, meet up with uh, Heaven's Last Hope and... And blue, of course. Um, but yeah, I felt like everybody I talked to, and, and we all were talking so fast because we knew we only had like this short amount of time to hang out with each other, like maybe this two hour window. Uh, and so we were all just going a mile a minute. It was great, but like we're all just kind of like, wish we had more time together. <laughs> yarn! What kind of yarn? Look at that. Use a way to derail me. I'm blabbering on about a dinner. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome yarns! So, what are, the, are they for a specific project? Did you just happen to come across an amazing deal? I mean, you don't just get camel yarn so for, like, no reason, or maybe you get it for no reason. I don't know. I know it's not cheap. Forty percent off. There we go. Yeah, that's a reason. Sale is a reason. Where'd you get it from? Like, I don't even know where to. Unless I go online, I wouldn't even know where to obtain camel. You didn't happen to go visit the Lion Brand store, did you? Because I hear the Lion Brand store in New York has some amazing things. And they sell it to you at crazy cheap because it's their warehouse. 
one of the ladies I know who does a lot of, she works for Disney, so she does a lot of traveling. And so when she was in New York, she stopped by the Lion store on, like, I don't know where it is, Fifth Avenue or something like that? Whatever, it's one of the fancy, I know nothing about New York, guys. Um, but yeah, she's like, yeah, they gave me, like, a tour, and they handed me a bag, and everything was X amount off because I was there, and they weren't shipping it, and there's some blends that they only have in that store, and oh, it sounded close-knit road to China Lace. Wow. So what are you going to make with it? Like, I hope you had, like, a project in mind. God, that sounds just heavenly to work with. Like, I'm working with this yarn, and this is something I got while I was in Spain. I have no idea what I remember, I, or I don't remember at all what the blend is, but comparing this... To the Red Heart, like the old Red Heart, the new Red... Well, these both are old. The old Red Heart, the new Red Heart. This acrylic wool blend, which is actually softer than the Red Heart. And then this guy, my god, there's such a huge difference. I haven't been talking about the difference between it, but I'll tell you guys, when I started, when I made a uh, Carl Square with this navy blue, like, it felt like sandpaper in my hands. Even compared to this. Like, this is softer than this is. This is my scratchiest yarn, which I have no problem using it all up for the subsquares because I, I can't imagine using it for, like, a scarf or anything else. I think originally I did make a scarf out of it. Close Knit is store. I'm going to make a scarf using Portuguese techniques. Excellent! Um... Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing when I first did stuff. So I was reading an article, and one of the things it said, and I didn't understand what it meant. Like, you actually had to read the article. And it says, wear what you make. I'm like, well, why would you make it if you weren't going to wear it? And what they meant is like, no, you specifically, you make it, you wear it. I saw your picture of that yarn basket. That thing was enormous. That's like this kind of stuff you could win at the yarn crawls around here. And here's the crazy thing. The girl I went to the yarn crawl with, um, we dropped our... Because you do like a bingo card for these yarn crawls. Um, the girl I went with and we dropped ours off at the same store, she won the, the basket of yarn. Hey, kitten. Hey, girl. I have a little Artemis kitten who came in the door. I think she's going to come up around here and she's going to go over there and she wants to sit in the window. That's what she wants. She doesn't care about us about being able to hang out in the window. So what was all in that, that basket? I mean, obviously a ton of stuff. Artemis. Hey. All right, guys, I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to show her to you on stream. Hey, all. <clears throat> okay, this is Artemis. She's one of our calicos. She's our tiniest little kitty. And she hates being held, so this is not going to last very long. I promise you, get to sit in the window. I just want you to look at the camera and say hi to everyone. Still not. Okay. Squirmy, squirmy. Fine, I'll let you go. I know you want the window, so we will sit right here on the desk. Go hang out in the window. She is our most adventurous, most mis cat who gets into all the things. <laughs> you have all the things in your basket. Very nice things. Did you get a yarn bowl? Because, like, I know a lot of times I put yarn bowls in there. Oh, I want a thing in a fiber thing, too. Um, Pixie Firefly was asking about the fiber thing, like, ten minutes ago. Hello, eye swelling, make me sneeze purple. Oh. <laughs> so... I went to a fiber festival. It's called WEF, Weaving and Fiber Festival. And I won a small little giveaway. Well, it wasn't really a giveaway. I had to buy tickets. So I put in $10 worth of tickets. And I got two skeins of the, uh, what is this? Malabrigo? Those Malabrigo dewberries. Nice, deep purple. You were saying you had a bunch of pay to participate? How do yarn crawls work? Do you pay to participate? This particular yarn crawl... 
is you just show up at the stores. You don't have to pay to do it. Um, they have like a bingo card online, and since there's so many stores in the LA area, they have it split up by region. Actually, I'm wondering if I have an example of, I mean, I turned in the bingo card, but I may have printed off two copies by accident. I don't think I did. Each store has a knit pattern and a crochet pattern. That's literally my yarn crawl bag. They have one. Let's see, in Portland, you visit all stores and get stamps and emails. Yeah, in this one, they have regions because there's so many. So there's like five or six stores in a region. And you go to each store and you get stamps and it lasts for four days. So Thursday through Sunday. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. But you don't have to pay for any of it. Um, you have a better chance. You have two chances to get a big basket. One of the chances is by completing a zone, like I said, there are four zones, you complete a region, you turn it in at one of the stores of that region. The other one is to be able to go to all the stores and you turn in your bingo card. And then so the people who manage to turn in all the stores get a different one. Because this year I think there's like 24 stores and you're supposed to go do it in four days. So think about it, you're visiting six yarn stores a day. I'm trying to see. I have, I have a bunch of the patterns from the stores in here. Let's see. There was at least one new store on the list this year. There was a store that was like a one of the stores has expanded, so they had their like second location on the list this year. So I okay, my knitted knocker stuff, my pouch pattern that I was doing. Someone had the virus shawl. Uh, as one of their giveaway patterns. Or did I print this off? I think I printed off the virus shawl on my own. Wait, no, wait, let's say. The first version is from Stitches in Time, Bellflower, California. It's our redo to hopefully make it easier for you. Oh, okay. Finishing the passport gets you the yarn crawl patterns for free. Oh, okay, ours is just you, there's one knit and one crochet at every store. And if you stop off at the store, you can pick them up. A lot of the stores have like trunk shows, they have specials. Um, last year, one of the stores actually, uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like it's the furthest Northern store and it's really out of the way, but it's actually one of my favorite stores. The customer service is fantastic. Uh, for those of you guys who were here earlier and I was talking about the, the pencil versus toothbrush holding of your crochet hook, it was that store, but they actually had brought a sheep and they did a sheep shearing fiber finishing and spinning class. So they did sort of like a start to finish uh, demonstration, which I didn't get to go to. I just happened to be working or whatever at the time they were doing it, but it was a really, really neat idea. Let's see, what else did I get on the yarn crawl this year? Okay, so I got this fiber pack. It's a bunch of different colors here. And it actually has patterns for felting. I do want to learn how to felt. So it's a pa there's patterns in here for two items. The store is called Creative You and they have their own little needle felting booklet. Let's take a poke at needle felting. And so the two patterns that come with that package and you also get a, a needle holder thing. All right and it tastes, shows you how to do basic shapes. For a needle felting and where to poke it in order to get the shape you want. I'm trying to find the, the the finished picture of the item. Okay, so Mabel the mouse. This is one of the needle felting patterns. Is little Mabel holding a heart, and then there's Shep the sheep. So it also shows you how to make like a, a structure with the pipe cleaners, and then poke and felt the sheep. So it's a nice, it's just general intro. So yeah, it shows you how to make the the skeleton on the inside. We're going to a little mall type place where there's a woman spinning angora yarn from hair. She was coming out of a rabbit's on her. Oh my god, that's so cute! So cute! Hello, Ice Dragoon! Uh, and the other thing I picked up from the yarn crawl this year 
is a pattern to make. It's actually a kit. I don't know how well can you see it? Oh, you can see it. Um, it's a kit to make a purse, uh, a crocheted coin purse. Hey, hey, Ice Dragon. Glad to see you. So yeah, I figured once I know how to make this crocheted purse, um, then I don't. And if I can find where to get the hardware, because it even comes with the the clasp. There we go, the clasp here. Um, then I don't need to go buy a $10 kit somewhere else. I can buy the hardware and the yarn for like, oh well. Yeah, the kit was originally priced at $21. And then they have another price underneath it. Oh, the yarn itself is $8.25. Okay, so maybe it wasn't that bad of a deal. Yarn was $8.25. Uh, and also, what else is in here? Oh, I got some heart stickers. These are, well, it's for Barocco Yarns. I have a heart sticker. There was another cool, I think it was a pin. I gotta take a look at my pins here. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. This one. It's just, it's a cute little pin, just says I love fiber arts. I know it won't focus on it. But I love fiber arts. You bought two patterns because I was unemployed at the time. The universe said, no, you need yarn. But that's awesome because those baskets that you get, like, they don't have, like, they have nice yarn. They don't put, like, crappy yarn in there. They put good stuff. All right, kitten. You want, you want to get down? I don't want you jumping all over the place. I'm working on projects. I don't want you jumping on the, the couch. All right? All right, here's Kitty again. Oh my god, she's gonna scratch the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. I guess if I don't let her down right away, she'll start scrabbling. And, like, I could already feel her claws digging into my shoulder. She's, uh... She's not very patient when she wants to get down. Yeah, those things are just awesome! All right, let's see, it's 9.40. Finish those. Okay, I need to put the names on these guys. So we're going to put the yarn away. This is why I wanted to do it the way I did. There's the end of this. There you are. I don't know. I figure... Uh, I'll, I'll just keep entering giveaways and stuff that I see online, in person. And so I did win the raffle. That's what it was. It wasn't a giveaway. It was a raffle uh, that I won at WEF to get. Oh, so I got the two Malabrigo. I got the yarn bowl. I also got two cones, like giant cones of silk. Silk! One is straight up, like, one's 100% teal, and the other one is teal, magenta, and purple. Silk cones. I'm like, I don't even know what to do with this. I'm like, I guess I'll weave it up. So, yeah, the Malabrigo is kind of a chunky. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I have two skeins of it. It's not just one skein, it's two, so that's pretty exciting. Let's see, the last, what was it? It wasn't Malabrigo, it was Manos to Uruguay. I made a hat for Jingles. It was this bright red hat out of this uh, merino. Uh... But I didn't know what else I was going to do with the uh, that yarn. It was, it's, it's super chunky yarn. All right, so these are all my subsquare colors. So if you guys want a subsquare, you'll get the choice of one of those five colors. Yay! Ooh, cardigan for the silk. Really? It's so small. It's like lace weight. So, so small. I was actually thinking about weaving it up. I don't know what I'd do with it, but definitely weaving it, because then I could weave with it and sew it. I could do. I could probably do a woven cowl. 
All right, I need a, I need a scrap bag, but I think I put my scrap bags away. All right. Now, time to write names on these things. First one is Phoenix Fire. Trying new markers. These are markers I've had for a long time. Never used them before. We're giving them a shot. X. Underscore. Here. Alright, this should work. Although I feel like I should probably be using this Sharpie instead. Uh, I can't find my uh, dedicated uh, Sharpie fine tip, but I don't want to ruin the Statler markers. So uh, this has a fine tip on it, but it was drying out earlier, so it might not be as dark as I'd like it. I'll probably just have to go out and get some more Sharpies then, some more fine tips. Alright, so this is not quite long enough. Probably cut this down just a touch. Don't need to be sewing pieces that have nothing on them. I don't have to go my full arm's length. Maybe just halfway. Three quarters. Three quarters sounds good. What kind of hat? Like a slouchy hat or a brimmed hat or the one I did for Jingles was just kind of a I don't know, generic cone shape. We were in the car, I didn't have a pattern, I just kinda like single crochet, here we go. <laughs> Maybe I did double crochet. I may have done it in double. I'd have to have to look at it again. Not made. Cap with crown decreases. Okay. Crown decrease. I don't think I know what crown decreases are. Fitted color work. Hey guys, my goal is to finish this all by like 10.15. Kind of like what you'd see in a store. Oh, okay. Crown decrease. I did start knitting. I really did. I'm doing only knit stitch right now, but I'm doing it. Uh, my knitting is in the other room. Uh, it... I cast on like 90 stitches. Uh, I intend to make a 14 inch by 14 inch um, blanket, mini blanket for a to donate to a shelter. And that's the size that they give for like the smallest blanket that they have for animals. Like this tiny dogs and cats. So. That's awesome. Yeah, I have one pattern I've written that I intend to 
put up on Ravelry at some point. Um, I kind of want to... I, I, I made the item. It's a little bath scrubby. Uh, and it uses two different types of yarn. And it's two-sided. Um, I made it correctly the first time when I wrote the pattern. And I went to make it a second time. I'm like, I wrote this pattern. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I did it wrong. I didn't even read my own pattern and screwed it up the second time. So I'm going to... I want to do a few more so I know, like, remember what I was doing when I wrote it. And I'm like, obviously I was smarter when I wrote it than when I went to go make a second one. Whoops. That's just kind of funny. You need a gentleman model. Are you going to be done by TwitchCon? Jingles can model for you. He also has fangs, so like that'll make it look cool. <laughs> but I don't think I know anybody near you. <laughs> Let's see, who else? Wait, where are you? I'm trying to remember, where are you actually? Now a late birthday gift for a friend. Where are you located, Ice Dragoon? Oh, Portland. Oh, okay. I just remembered you were somewhere colder than where I was. But honestly, that's like 80% of the world, so... Carlisle, Pennsylvania. All right, your guys are kind of far away from each other. A few guy friends I can... Hmm? Yeah. You know where that is? Jingles is familiar with where Carlisle is. I am not. Friend lives in Switzerland, so we'll get used. Yay, Switzerland, yay, useful gifts. Yeah, it's hard for me to make gifts for people out here. Because it's California, and anything I'd make that would be useful would be lace work, and that's a lot of time and effort. It'd be either lace work or it'd be, um, no, yeah, everything would be lace work. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be very open, airy stitches, but then it would be like thicker yarn, and either way, it's just it's just a lot of work to try and make something so that's kind of why I went the bath scrubby route it's not really something you have to wear it's something you use but the bath scrubbies actually went to my nieces the first ones I made because they were like super bright colors um, I wanted to use the uh, the red heart scrubby yarn so I wrote <laughs> I wrote my own pattern for it can't show the hat on any social media or the magazine wouldn't consider. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it. Because as soon as it's out there, then it's already out there and anyone can look at it and, you know, do copycat stuff.
right, so we're tying off Phoenix Fires. Actually, I need to make two for Phoenix Fire. I forgot about that. I thought that, and I'm a little confused because I thought that subs like were like 30 days from the day you sub, but he subbed on the 6th and he subbed again on the 13th. So I was just a little confused as to how that worked. He's like, I almost missed it. But maybe he just almost missed the notification and he probably did sub for both months. So that's awesome. We got down with Phoenix Fire's first one. Huzzah! I'll make the second one after this, so... After I'm done putting all the names on everything else. <laughs> Yay! I'm glad your hat is looking good. Alright, so Phoenix Fire subbed. Go ahead and cross this one off. And Garanel, he's next. Garanel. All the curves of the G's are hard. The G and the A. I like the rest of it though. It's a lot nicer. Yeah, so this is a, a light grayish purple we got for Garanel here. Let's see how much of this yarn I can use. Actually, probably not enough. I still made too much yarn, or thread, not yarn. Knitting the length and depth right now. Length and depth, okay. Length and depth, okay. I... Yeah, so for my... Oh, you may have missed it. Yeah, I have a commission after I'm done with these. I'm going to start working on this commission piece to do uh, some colorful tidy whiteies. And I did the first version in cotton. And they're like, oh, we want it to be really vibrant. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get some acrylic then. So... I started it yesterday and I got as far yesterday as I did in two previous days because cotton is a lot more difficult to work with than acrylic is. And acrylic just speeds along the hooks really fast. Cotton takes a little bit of uh, elbow grease. All right, Garanil. Name being sewn on to your subsquare, dude. Ooh, that's not a good place to put that. Reposition this. Now again, this yarn, it's it's the proper like length and width. It's just thinner. <laughs> thinner yarn than the others. So be a little bit more careful when sewing this on. So I don't tug too hard. I could pull it all the way through, which would be obnoxious. Embroidering? So are you like embroidering a logo on the hat or something else? Or are you doing like cross stitch embroidery or what kind? I'm actually kind of ignorant when it comes to embroidery and cross stitch, so if I'm using incorrect terms, please let me know. Oh, your app crashed, boo. So 
So was the quilt fest, um, was that in Portland? I mean, both you and Fairy were there. So I'm thinking it was on that side, the side of the world. Oh, a towel. Nice. Do you have an embroidery machine or are you doing it by hand? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all tangled up on the backside here. Wow, I've gotten seriously tangled up on the backside. Come on. All right. Oh, yeah. Bad news bears, yo. Wow. Try and get that fixed. All right, that's that's not going to work the way I'm doing it. Different tactic. Must use different tactic. Somehow I think I made a knot. I'm going to go ahead and try and... There we go. There we go. Fixed. Little bit of patience there. That's all that took. Little bit of patience. I don't always have patience when I'm doing this because I just want to be done. Going on the name feels slow to me compared to crocheting. All right, on trans. Oh, okay, that's cool. That makes it a lot easier. The design is there instead of having to like freehand embroider. My God. Oh, come on. There's something on this thread that just keeps getting hung up on the back side. What's wrong with you, thread? Come on. Untangle yourself. I think part of the problem is that there's a fan going right here and it's kind of making it twist. And when it twists, it uh, it tangles and then knots. So I'm going to blame the fan. Even though I like the fan. The fan's doing great things for me right now. But, wow. It's also doing terrible things for the, the sewing, the hand sewing here. Yeah, I want to learn how to... I ironed out a set of three towels, but I might finish one and buy a gift. Yeah, after a while, sometimes the... Like, I have a... One of my cousins is having a baby, and I told her I'd send her a baby shower gift. And I have a, a baby blanket already finished. And that's what I'm going to be sending her, because I'm just like... If I was to make baby blankets, when I found out babies were born, were going to be born, I would... They would be like, like two years old before I got them done and to them so I just need to have baby blankets on hand in order to give them out as gifts hey hey Jingle said they'd be two years away from getting their driver's license uh, I haven't even actually I have been crocheting for 16 years so I'll just keep my mouth shut Yeah, this particular blanket I did just because it's a stash buster, and it, it's all just single crochet, but the colors actually work out really well. Oh my god! Chameleon crochet! 
Coming in with a party of 22. Red alert, red alert, guys. Hello, hello. My goodness. So what were you making tonight? And Pumpkin Panda! Hey, Pumpkin! I am making up my subsquares here. So yeah, if you guys... Hello, thank you for the host, Sister. Awesome! Nail Tips, hello! Lady Frenzy Wicked Truth, hello! Yeah! We had Crochet 101, got some new hookers in the bunch, yeah. All right, that's the second time that's happened today. I need to add frickin'... I can't believe that! Okay, guys, I have auto mod knocked down to, like, one below the, uh... Uh, one below nothing. So, um, but it's still catching the word hooker. It thinks the word hooker's a swear word. So I'm going to have to add hookers to uh, the safe list. Safe list. The other thing it would catch when uh, Crafty Cat kept was in here and she'd be talking about her boy toy. It would block her for saying boy toy. I was like, that's not really a swear word. Boy toy I put in the safe list. I, d I, had to, I manually put that one in there because I got sick of poor Crafty Cat feeling like she did something wrong. Oh, cool. Excellent. Thank you, Sabs. So yeah, my sub, when people sub to my channel, they get a little, uh, they get a sub square. And at the beginning Yay! of October, thank you for that follow. Kara Creates, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the crochet couch. Uh, so at the beginning of October, I'm going to take all the sub squares and put them together and make a, uh, a like a, a cape. I'm going to make a hooded cape for TwitchCon. So I will literally be having to be surrounded by my supporters. So we are having a physical, visual representation of all you awesome people. The wine? No. Whatever. But Twitch is all about the cheese. <laughs> He's saying being surrounded by supporters is very cheesy. But you know what? That's all. Hmm? Huh? I said that's all. I stuck my tongue out. You and I said that's all. <laughs> so yeah, um... After I have the subsquares... So the subsquares are up here. You have tier 1, tier 2, tier 3... These are all the tier 3 ones. I'm actually behind on the tier 3 ones because I make one for myself also. Um, and I only have January, February, March up there. April, May, June. A little behind. Uh, and let's see. Garanel. I've just finished Garanel Square here. So he is now up on the board. And I have two more. So Garanel is our first uh, purple, gray, blue yarn color it looks similar to the rainbow but it's different i promise uh, different <laughs> sorry just remember you have two to make yeah chatbots are weird like that sister hi present is jingles from mc your hubby uh i mean we're long-term dating we've been together for four almost almost five years sort of A while. I mean, yes. For simplicity's sake, you could we you could be my husband. You okay with that? Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next square goes to Carl the actual cock. Exactly, pumpkin. Yes, exactly. Yeah, partner, partner's very close would, would probably be, like, the preferred term, but then it also makes it sound like when I say I have a partner that it would be a female. So that gets a little also complicated. 
language these days. <laughs> hey, Blue Soda Pop. Welcome to the channel. I mean, I'm hoping for it someday. Maybe. Um, Carl the Actual Cock. That's who's I'm working on. I'm like, I need to put a name on here, and it's not Blue Soda Pop. Or at least not yet. Carl. E-A-R-L-T-H-E Carl the Actual Cock. How many of you guys have been in a channel with Carl the Actual Cock? You guys met him? I didn't know before, so I just had the epiphany not long ago and thought it has to be sure. <laughs> yes. Yes, Panda, we are together. So that's... All right, now I need to sew this on. Yes, Sabs, what's up? It's Paint Chicken. And Crafty Miner Gal, hello, good to see you back. How's your afternoon going? Yes, we do have 26 viewers, which means it's time for a sticker giveaway. How many people are interested in a cute little sticker? Um, let's see, Panda. The reason that caught you, I will approve it, is because it is C-O-C -C at the end. It's Carl with a C at the beginning and C-O-C. -C. So they managed to get by the, uh, the naming auto mod there. Yes, Carl the actual cock. Like that, but turn the K's into C's and remove the last C. And Carl is a chicken. And he streams. Carl the actual cock is a cock. He's a rooster. And he has his own channel. Where he streams farm life stuff. And yes, as Chameleon Crochet said, he is Paint's Chicken. <laughs> I think that was a really neat idea. I mean, I suppose it'd be like if I said something like, you know, Artemis the real cat. Oh, who was it that we ended up in their channel the other day and she had an awesome skin that turned her into a cat? Oh, man. It was, I think it was someone that uh, Needy Bird raided. But it was really cool. They were playing Minecraft. Yes, Panda, you got it. All right, guys. So there is a giveaway going on for a sticker. We have three designs with my cute little kitty Hyperion on it. Everybody gets their first ticket for free. You can uh, buy your tickets with exclamation point ticket space one, and that's free. If you have 20 or more points, you can buy more tickets as a maximum of 10, including the free one. So the most you would buy is 9. Yay, pumpkin! And you guys are in luck because I'm currently working on all the giveaway stuff from St. Jude. So if you get in, you can get in with this uh, delivery uh, run. Hello, thank you for the follow. Sister got a row done. And chameleon and she's crocheting slow. Nail tips, thank you for that follow. And something else, welcome to the channel. It's good to see you here. I don't think you usually chat much if you're in my channel often. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think this is the first time I've seen you, so hi! Alright, sister. Yeah, snacks are important. Being hangry is bad. Oh, yeah, being hangry is super bad. Like, oh man, you say and do stuff that you totally regret. Cross-stitching! Alright, cool. Lurk away, my friend. I'm hoping I can make it all the way around on this uh, thread that's on my needle here. It's I'm getting a little, little, uh, little short. Don't make me hungry. You wouldn't like me when I'm hungry. Ooh, taco night, guys. Does anybody else have a sense of deja vu like we've done this before? Talking about tacos and being hangry and while I'm making subsquares. Has this happened already? I feel like it really has. <laughs> and sister's usually here just on chat. Aw, that's awesome. Yes, this is a recurring thing. All right. I mean... Sabs, do we need to send you a treat stream? Mmm, <laughs> food. Rosalita. <laughs> She's an instigator, she is. I wonder how much time I'm actually going to get to work on those tidy whities Oh, so my other project uh, that I'm working on is these colored tidy whities which to me make them no longer tidy whities They just are briefs at that point uh, that I've been commissioned to do. And I'm writing the pattern for them at the same time I'm making it. And uh, I need to make three pairs by Sunday night. Uh, and I've kind of outsourced the other stuff that needs to be made uh, so I can... Uh, I can get all the pieces done. So I'll be crafting with uh, some of my knit and crochet people on Saturday so we can get all of it done in time. Alright guys, I need like two more passes and then I, I'm done. Oh, actually it needs to be three because I need to pass through here and then pass to the back. Pass through here and pass to the back. Done, yo. Now hopefully there's enough for me to tie it off. <laughs> All right, actually, I'll try and tie it off like this. Don't quite think there's enough for me to do it the other way. All right. Snip, snip, snip. Snips actually have to do the snipping in order for this to work. There we go. There we go. Tie that off, and I'll tie this off. Going to be super tiny. Super tiny, itty bitty knots. Carl, the actual cock's name is too long, guys. I wonder what the maximum letters for a Twitch username is. Like the maximum number of characters. Yay! Yeah, it turns out that everywhere here is stupidly closed. Oh, sad day. Yeah, I think I did actually check out your treat stream. Just want to see what you had on there. Um, what do I need a counter for? Oh, a counter for <laughs> counter taco talk. <laughs> I love tacos. I actually, I really like Del Taco tacos. Um... I didn't think taco, like fast food tacos could be so good because all I had known was uh, Taco Bell and Taco Bell makes me kind of sick. So I was like, eh, tacos, meh. And then I came out to California and discovered Del Taco and I'm like, where have you been all my life? Where? What, Taco Bell makes me sick? Taco Bell makes a lot of people sick. Yeah, quality grade B beef, yes. See, sister sister knows what I'm talking about. 
Exactly, and chameleon, alright? Taco Bell just... Ugh. It, it's just like my whole insides revolt against it, and it takes like three days for my body to get back to normal. Days. Yes, see? Chameleon's totally on par with me here. Taco Bell uses grade B beef. So you guys can all think about that. I call Taco Bell tuberculosis, but I have the opposite problem. Del Taco's not good for me. <gasps> but I can do Taco Bell every day. What? That's so weird. That's not beef. <laughs> oh, gross. But you're probably right. All right, and this one's for paint 27. And I need to make another one for Phoenix Fire, because I forgot that there was two in a row. And there's my angry roommate yelling at his video games. You guys probably can't hear that, but maybe someday you will. I still prefer Taco John's. You know, it's funny. I haven't seen Taco John's since I moved out to California. There's Taco Bell and Taco, or Del Taco, but no Taco John's. You worked at one. Uh, you worked at a Taco Bell lady frenzy? Or you worked at a Taco John's? or a De Which one did you work at? I'll just ask the question that way. Taco Bell. And it's not beef. Ooh, what is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is it? I'm more curious. Obviously, I'm saying I can't eat there. But it's, I want to know what it is if it's not beef. Or have you been, like, sworn to some weird, like secrecy packed thing where they tell you my sister's gone to Taco Hell more than a couple times and they're out of beef <laughs> crunchy del tacos are horrid what they didn't use any cumin and they're bland as hell you have to get away from their seasoned beef have a good experience Taco Bell seasoned beef Wins between the two, hands down. I'll admit, if you get anything like sex, seasoned beef, taco, del taco is amazing. Amaze balls. Oh, I get lately, uh, I don't know, within the past year, del taco has the option to get uh, turkey. You can get uh, ground turkey tacos, and I get the turkey tacos. Uh, they're seasoned mostly the same, I think, as the beef. Um, I don't think I need cumin in my tacos, though, so because I'm pretty sure cumin is an Indian spice and not a Mexican one, therefore not really all that authentic. Did I ask you if you want to be part of my project? No, Pegasister, I don't recall you asking me to be part of a project. Something that came in a bag froze and they drop in boiling water till it's hot. Yeah. It probably comes pre-season, so you can't steal the recipe, I'm guessing, uh, Lady Frenzy. There were some things like that. I worked at Olive Garden, and there's some few things that it's like, blah, 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 recipe season packet. So, but yet we made the, uh, the soup that everybody likes uh, from scratch. Or maybe they just wanted consistency. Maybe that could be that too. Cumin so good. Del tacos beer better. Fish tacos are heaven. Actually, I've started getting their shrimp tacos too. Um, I've tried to make healthier choices by like sort of moving away from the the red meats and including more fish in my uh, diets when I go out. It's so cool. She made me a Fluttershy. <gasps> oh my god, yes! I want to see this. Oh my gosh, yes. Share a picture if you have a picture of a Fluttershy in Minecraft. Holy cow. El Pollo Loco. Eh. I have a thing with chicken, though, in, in general. Like, I am so 
not trusting of places preparing chicken correctly. Cumin is used in authentic Mexican food. Okay. I still thought it was an Indian spice. Rubios. I have never heard of Rubios. Well, actually, it kind of sounds familiar, but I've never been to a Rubios, I'll say that. Do you want to fam family Twitch and... My family Twitch and Mixer family project? Uh, sure. What do I need to do? Sister, oh my gosh, you said you were going to go get foods like 10 minutes ago, and you got all of us talking about food now. When you say cumin, it sounds like you're saying humans just saying. Fish tacos. I've had some pretty good fish tacos in Mexico. I think uh, Del Taco had some pretty good fish ones also. They also have a really good, like, chipotle mayo that they put with the fish tacos. So, like, I'm not sure if it's the fish itself or if it's just the sauce they use. Mmm. Cumin? Mmm. Cumin? Cumin? I mean... Cute. Dang it, this is just gonna be like... Bagels. Jingles makes fun of me for the way I say that. Beer not taco? I don't know what that is. Alright, Discord picture. It's in the kitchen and I'm lazy. <laughs> Alright. You gotta see this picture. Picture, picture. Holy cow! That's so good! It looks like there's something next to it, too. Chameleon crochet! Nice! Oh, Fluttershy. Chameleon, did you say you're a Fluttershy? Is that your, your pony type? So when Paint and I were... Working together. That's how we know each other. We used to work together. Um, we. That's kind of when My Little Pony uh, first came to Netflix. And when we met someone new, we would actually describe their personality in pony terms to the other person. The original MLP. What? Want to see something that's driven me bat cat crazy? Uh, is it gonna drive the rest of us bat cat crazy? Cause like I've never even heard that phrase, and I'm afraid to get to the go to that place. Who do you want from the show, My Little Pony? The ones taken already: Twilight, Sparkle, Fluttershy, Rarity, Happy, Pinkie Pie, Derpy, and Princess Luna. Also, Applejack is mine. Oh, see, I'm a Twilight Sparkle. Well, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who do you want from the show? Hmm. I mean, with those options off the table... Chrysalis. Jesus, Sabs. Um. I would probably say. Uh, like maybe Apple Blossom? Oh, it's a bobbin nightmare. Okay, sure, sure. Um. I mean, I'm definitely, I find it interesting no one said Celesta, Princess Celesta. Like, Princess Luna I totally get. No one said Celesta. Uh, it feels like if you said Celesta, you don't deserve to be Celesta. Um. No, I know. <laughs> Discord. I love John Delancey's characters. Oh my god.
Discord. Actually, you know, really, Jingles is Discord. He doesn't even know it because he won't watch the show. Oh, oh, Princess Lesta was made. Oh, okay. Also, oh, not Luna. Oh. I feel so bad for Luna. I really do. Like, she got punished for being lonely is really what happened. <laughs> Celestia. Yes, yes. It's been a while. Obviously, I can't pronounce cumin, bagels, or Celestia. Cumin, Celestia, or bagels. Okay, we'll go Luna. I noticed how you, uh, you're going to skip over Discord. <laughs> Apparently I'm saying it fine now, but when I say it not right, I don't know I'm saying it not right, and it drives Jingles bonkers. And I, I don't, I can't hear the difference between the two ways he's saying it. All right, paint 27, done. All right, I did have these like overlapping a little. Ugh. We're on row three, guys. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. We have a giveaway going on for a sticker. If you want a Hyperion sticker, go ahead and exclamation point ticket space one. We'll give you your first ticket for free. And then we'll go ahead and draw. What time is it? It looks like 10.30. Actually, I have my watch on today. Yes, it's 10.30. I didn't have my watch on yesterday. And Phoenix Fire said he wanted rainbow. He said he wanted rainbow twice. So we'll give him two rainbows. And I need my J hook. There we go. So do you have a server that you're, I mean, obviously you have a server of some sort, um, Pegasister. <laughs> Sorry, some of the scar on my bobbin. <laughs> yeah, you can totally go ahead and share the bobbin picture. Like, if you post it in a Discord somewhere, and you can share the Discord link. I found that to be one of the easier ways of doing it. Or if you have, like, if it's already on Instagram. There's some things I've tried to share. It's like, all right, quick, post it to Instagram. All right, now go share it into the channel. <laughs> Two, three. Right. Two, three. Server, I did already. Okay. Oh, I guess I missed it. I'll have to. There we go. All right, Lady Wicked Frenzy. I hope it stops driving you too terribly crazy and you complete the project and it looks fantastic. I haven't seen the blink yet, but I'm sure it's probably scary. Yeah, there's a bobbin project I was supposed to start at the beginning of the month, and I will, I tried following the instructions, and the instructions aren't written very well. And I'm like, I could figure this out on my own, but I'm just going to move on to the easy pattern. <laughs> so. Yeah, bobbin projects. The other thing that bothers me about bobbin projects is, like, 
they don't necessarily give you how much you should wind on a bobbin. You're kind of looking at it and trying to guess. Alright, one, two, Tired, tired. 33 more rows to go. What are you talking about, server? Oh, when you said you... Pl when I saw the picture uh, of the... Oh, but you're on a... Okay. I was saying, like, a Minecraft server if you're playing on a shared platform with people. But it looks like you were in creative mode on, like, um, Xbox. Did you, I saw the X and the Y button things. I've never played Minecraft on a console. I've only played it on PC. I tried playing on my phone for a little bit, and I'm like, this is really confusing. <laughs> so, night night, lady frenzy. Yeah, if you're playing on like uh, Xbox, I actually don't know how that works, so I'm probably saying the wrong thing. I don't know if you join like a group of people playing Xbox or I don't know how that works at all. Yeah, on your own locked server. Oh, okay. Did you want or need anything in return? It's where you do all your art. Oh, okay. And let's see, it's, I go with how many columns are on the project, chains, foundation stitches, how many times I wrap the yarn on the bo bobbin. Columns on the project or chains, foundation stitches. Okay. Yeah, the thing I'm doing, it's like an X. So it's a, it's a solid color, but it's really not a solid color because the X splits everything. That's the pattern I'm looking at, and I'm like, do I need a bobbin for the X? Do I need a bobbin for the same color on this side of the X, and the same color on this side of the X, because the X is like, cuts it in half. I'm just like, ah, it's obnoxious. So obnoxious. Good night, Lady Frenzy. Hope you sleep well. Yeah. Good sleeps. Alright, I am probably going to have to cut this, guys, at exactly 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. Uh, I was feeling kind of ill at work. I thought I was going to have to leave early. Uh, and I'm starting to feel kind of ill again. It's getting late. Uh, I do want to finish this, and I probably just, I'm going to end up going in bed and crocheting the rest of the the other project. So just kind of a heads up. Really having you part of the family is all I need in return, knowing I gained another family member to the streamer family project. Oh, Pegasister, you are super sweet. So sweet. So awesome. I'm so glad you guys managed to find my stream. You and, uh... Berserk Knight. I, I'm really glad you guys, like, I don't remember who you came in with, but uh, I think it was maybe Mebz's raid when uh, I joined Creation Nation, and I really, really like the the Creation Nation vibe. It's awesome. You're so great. I'm going to start crying, guys. <laughs> Cry a little. I'm all, like, super teary right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally a Twilight Sparkle. Um, going back to the thing I was saying about me and Paint describing people in, um, <clears throat> in, in My Little Pony terms. So. Yeah. Twilight Sparkle here. Like, I saw that and I'm just like, yep, that's, that's me. And, uh... <laughs> And then Paint27, guys, she is like Pinkie Pie to a T. Oh my god, she is so Pinkie Pie. All 
Our coworker Mike was Rainbow Dash. Um, and I think our boss was Discord, to be honest. Uh, he was kind of a jerk. Not. He cared about us, but he didn't know how to be a boss. He just, ugh. He was a troll. He was a good. I mean, he was a friend too, but like at the same time, still wanted to strangle him. He didn't. He didn't really know how to be boss. Your husband's phony's Twilight Sparkle. Yeah, I got a few of the comics. I didn't really... I liked the artwork of the the cartoon. I didn't really like all the comic variations of the, the drawings. Some of them were good. Some of them I didn't think were as good, so I kind of stopped getting them. Although for a while I did start following Amy Mebbers. I think she's the... Uh, she's one of the comic artists for the My Little Pony comics. And she does... Uh, she has like a drawing with Amy thing that gets featured on the Comic-Con website. Alright, so we are done with this. Now I just need to tie it all off. We'll go ahead and tie this off. And then we will have Phoenix Fire's second sub-square complete. Just uh, we don't uh, accidentally get it untied. It's getting so hot in here. Windows are open, fans on. I'm all out of water. Link I sent for them. I did get the link you sent. I actually still need to watch it. I was actually thinking while we were talking, I'm like, maybe if I go upstairs and I start crocheting and I turn on the movie. <sighs> Just watch it from my phone in bed. <laughs> All right. Oh? Does it expire? The, does, if the link expires, then I'll have to figure out a different way to watch it something. Uh, PH0 N I X underscore F R X fire I have so much wasted thread on the, these projects. I just don't know how to measure it. But I'd rather have more than not enough put onto the uh, the needle. All right, guys, we're gonna finish Phoenix Fire. Uh, I'm looking for suggestions of people to raid at this point. I'll throw a few suggestions up in chat while we finish up this last piece. Another crocheter around. Maybe another Creation Nation person. Person. Oof. I I'm like slurring my words. I'm starting to fade. All right, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you caught me last night when I was saying that when I get tired, I fade really fast. So I'm on the beginning of my decline. It will be very fast when I fade tonight. It's time. Oh, yes. Yes, we have a, a giveaway thing. It's a good thing. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, Discord. Yes, if you have pictures and stuff to share and didn't get around to sharing it, or if you think I missed it, uh, go ahead and throw in the Discord. There's a... Uh, there's a couple places to post pictures. I think uh, there's a fiber arts related chat, and there is a pics and pets, which can just be kind of like random stuff. Crafty Miner Gal! Whoa! 
Look at you with the luck. All that luck. All right, so Crafty Miner Gal, you can choose between a, hyper, a Hyperion sticker of the kitty or a random grab bag. Oh my goodness! Metallic lace, hey girl! Oh my god! So many raids tonight, you guys! This is insane! So hello, hello everyone! Well, I, I feel like a raid requires that I stay live for a bit longer. Honestly, my streams are supposed to end at 11, so I would have been ending early anyway. So we won't talk about ending for at least another 20 minutes. What were you working on tonight? It's good to see you on my channel. So I'm making sub squares. Um, every person who subs to my channel gets their little square, choice of colors, and uh, in October I'm going to start putting them all together into be a con cloak. So I'll make a nice little hooded thing piece to wear around my head and shoulders of all the people who have been part of my stream this past year. I'm really excited about it. Where do you want me to have them post them? Because for some reason I can't add your Discord at all either. Uh, if you're on the phone, Pega Sister, I know Discord gets a little Yay! confused. So you would have to uh, try to get to it from the computer. I have this problem with other people's Discords all the time. Thank you for the follow, Metallic Lace. Choker decoration and made a pun vector for t-shirt design. A pun vector. Hmm. Gosh, this is so tangly. There we go. I win something when you're doing a giveaway. Yes. Yes, you do. You've been winning stuff like the last two. So, uh, Crafty Miner Gal, do you want one of the kitty stickers or do you want a random grab bag? The random grab bag has three items in it. It could be a button. It could be any combination of button, sticker, magnet, or temporary tattoo. And it's all super random stuff. Home slice! And is it a picture of a piece of bread that's shaped like a house? Because that, that's kind of what I picture with home slice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Especially since it says it was a pun. All right, so we are finishing our last sub square for the day. Well, you know, I save them up. I don't just do like, oh my gosh, just the ones from today. Uh, this is from like the last few weeks. We did five of these today. We have a good bit of people, good bit of stuff to go on the con cloak. Uh, so if that's something you guys are interested in being a part of, I gotta do a sub and you get some super cute kitty uh, emotes. Otherwise, feel free to hang out. We do a lot of uh, crafty chat. Uh, and today was a lot of My Little Pony talk, so. All right, thank you, Crafty Miner Gal. I appreciate that message with your info and what you're interested in having. All right. So yes, the next project, after I'm finished working on this, and I'll actually start it a little bit here on stream. Uh, well, I'll start, I'll continue it, I should say. I started it last night, is uh, I had a request for some crocheted tidy whiteies. It was like, don't make them white. We need them to be colorful. Ooh, Phoenix Fire has shown up. What about yesterday's? I'll ask her about yesterday's, too, when she messages me. Ooh, what is this getting stuck on? Phoenix Fire, we're working on your sub square from earlier. Hello. 
How was your uh, evening? I'm guessing you had an evening of Minecrafts. Mines and crafts, crafts and mines. Crafty mines, a crafty miner gal. All right. But yeah, actually, Phoenix, we are on your... You are the last... Well, because you were the most recent one to subscribe. Uh, I have your two squares done today. I have Garanel Square, Paint Square, and Carl the Actual Cox also. Phoenix. Bye, Almost overwork early tomorrow. <laughs> How is the uh, the server doing? I know you had some issues earlier, and I hope that's all cleared up for you, and you've gotten some uh, some peace of mind and some rest after all that debacle. Debacle. All right. Tying up these last threads. Two and three. Have this to go through. There we are. All cleared up. Have backups running to my PC. Next time you'll just wipe the servers and reinstall. How often do your backups run? All right. Cool. Phoenix Fire! At least once a day. Okay. We have two new colors of subsquares now. Ugh. Also, for those of you new to the channel, the yellow squares are for the people who've donated or gifted subs to other people. So the gifter and the recipient both get squares. All right, so we are done with the subsquare stuff. Now, on to the real fun thing. This guy. This guy here, what do we got? We got an AJ hook. Is it a J hook I'm supposed to be using? I actually was following the instructions. It is a J hook I'm supposed to be using. Excellent. All right. So this is the beginning of a pair of crocheted men's briefs. Briefs. Tidy whities, but red ones. Uh, I'm at the point now where I'm starting to do a decrease. So I've made the waistband, and now we're starting to make the back side. Then when we get down to here. We'll curve up and come up. Check them out! Did you... Alright. I'm guessing you posted a message in the Discord. I don't even know where my phone went. I usually check this stuff from my phone so I don't have to... Actually, that's a really good question. Where is my phone? Alright. Taking a look at the... Oh, okay. Straight to the Discord. Oh, right, it puts me in streamer mode, so I don't even hear the stuff. All right, and then I have a thing for Sabs. All right. All right, my thing, why isn't it even showing me messages in my own chat? That's weird. Oh, there we go, Bazaar Kanta. Yeah, oh my goodness. Actually, you can take those links that you just posted in the Discord and now you can share them in the channel so everybody can see it because that is amazing. I, wow. 
Those are super good. All the ponies, and they're huge. Like they go into the clouds. They're enormous. Um, if you right click the picture, it will, s like, if you go into the Discord, or if Berserk Hunter goes in the Discord, right clicks the picture, and I think it says copy link, and then you can paste the link into the chat, and that way everybody can see them if they're not a part of my Discord. Or if people want to join the Discord and head on only to over to the Picks and Pets section, uh, they've posted like eight pictures of the amazing uh, My Little Pony Minecraft sculptures they have made. They are breathtaking. They are so good. Okay, so I'm, like I said, I've done the waistband part of the, uh, the tidy whities And uh, now I'm working on uh, essentially the part that would be the butt. We're doing a decrease down the back. Back side. When we're all finished, uh, there's actually a picture in the Discord of what I'm doing under Fiber Arts, um, Fiber Arts Picks. I think I need to rename some of my channels. They're just a little too long and clunky. Took you two months and two weeks to make. Holy cow. Yeah, like the Celesta, there's so much going on there. All right, so when I turn, I do not chain one. I do not do the one directly by the hook. I actually skip one. There we go, because I want to make sort of a more gradual... Um, it will be a steeper decline, but it won't look so boxy. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Hey, here's the strange thing. I've never flown around in Minecraft in creative mode. I don't even know how to do that. I know it's a thing. I just haven't done it. I've done it in Little Big Planet, which is kind of a world building thing. You can make your own like video game levels. That's a neat thing. And there's some user made levels that are actually really, really good. I so I favorited some that I was just blown away by. And I was like, this had to be a team of people to make this level happen. Yeah, there's especially one, there's like a gold mine, it's like called Gold Rush or something, and you have to like collect 15 pieces of gold in it, but you can't really carry certain things, so just, uh, and it's a huge map too, for, for a little big, as far as a little big plan is concerned. But yeah, those are so gorgeous. Every at the end of each of these rows, see, and that's the reason I mark them with the stitch markers, so I don't go too far. Um, but I do put a crochet in the very last one, and it's when I do the turning uh, is when I make the changes. So. All right, so, and I put the, I do go into the last one. I don't chain one, I turn, and I don't go in the one directly from the hook, I go into the next. That looks... Yeah, it's becoming a nice steady... decrease. It'll be a little more difficult to find the edges of that when I come around with the white to outline it. But other than that, I think it will look just fine. He said that it won't let him send links. In your... That's super weird. Like, I have links open for everybody. Uh, Sabs, do you know if something changed? Because uh, I was not going to turn off links until someone abused him. As far as I know, no one's abused link um, sending links.
Alright, so Pegasus can't get into the Discord, and Berserk Hunter can't put up links. What in the world? Um, I'm trying to think about how to fix that. Pegasus, are you on a phone though right now? Or are you on a computer? Berserk Hunter, thank you for that host. Extremely appreciated. I'm so glad you guys could join me tonight. This is awesome. Yeah, you're on a phone. Okay. Um, I think that's the issue with getting into Discord. Once you click the Discord link on a computer, I think it'll work just fine. Um, but for some reason, it's a weird thing with the phones. I know I've had issues trying to... It's It's really annoying. Ugh, like you, you can't just copy paste? That's so strange. Or is it also you're on a phone? Alright, turn. Not in the one hook, but the next one. That doesn't actually look like it's decreasing. But it is. Okay, that definitely is a decrease. You have to TP copy the link, like the numbers. Undo it that way. Oh, you have to tap copy link. Oh, okay, I see. He can invite you direct. Well, Berserk Hunter can get into the Discord. Pegasister can't get into the Discord. That's That was the issue. Berserk Hunter's already in. Pegasister's the one who needs the invite. Your phone is a bit hard to type. Oh, okay. Uh, Sabs, you should be able to find Berserk Hunter because now you at least share a server. Uh, you can, you can, and it's not Berserk, it's Berserk. There's no, there's no R in the first half of the word. Okay, guys. If you give me a second, I'll get to the end of this row and I'll start the next row. And I'll go ahead and I'll post the um, the links. Let me go a few stitches in here. All right. Actually, it's starting to look like a decent decrease. A nice even. Oh, crafty miner. Yeah, if someone. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to start at the top. My god, Celesta is enormous. Well, there's one. That's Celesta. Celestia. Princess Celestia. All right, making progress, guys. Actually, I'm making really decent progress. I mean, I was hoping to finish this tonight. I thought the squares would go a little faster, but they don't. Oh well. All right, guys, so there's some links of those awesome Minecraft pictures. So it's the 3D Minecraft art that uh, Berserk Hunter and Pegasister were gone.
uh, Berserk Hunter, if you try to at yourself in a Discord, it will show like four numbers after your name. It's how Discord uh, allows people to have the same like name, but still be able to identify them as different entities. Skip the one on the hook, go to the next. Oh, okay. All the pixel art you are seeing in those images is done by Pegasister. I was mistaken. He just posted the links in Discord. <laughs> but we're still trying to figure out Discord. I still have confusion with Discord. I was asking someone something. They're like, just send me a temporary link. I'm like, what do you mean a temporary link? Oh. He's a little busy. All right, I think I'm at the point I'm at a point where I can stop and we can go ahead and find someone amazing to host. So I will start start taking suggestions of people to raid. Uh, I'll take I'll leave the requests open for uh, 10 minutes. I'll stay on for another 10 minutes, but I want to see who do you guys want us to take all this love to? We've had so much, like, raid love. We have a couple Twitch kittens, so we could go find someone from Twitch kittens. We've had some uh, Creation Nation love here, so... And uh, Naughty by Nature love. Uh, let me know... Who you guys would like to help make their night. And there's 24 people in here right now. Like, that's that's a decent size. Especially for a smaller channel, so... I usually prefer smaller channels. Sometimes I'll read a bigger channel. But. Tonight has mill spin crochet and hand sewing. Yeah, the link with all the W's should be my permalink. Oh. You don't have anyone creative on. Wow. Interesting. I can definitely go check the Twitch Kittens and see who's there. Seeing as how I did get two raids from Twitch Kittens tonight. One by Metallic Lace and the other by Kayla is Rabbit. Metallic Lace is actually both Naughty by Nature and Twitch Kittens. I think she was... Twitch Kittens first, and then Naughty by Nature second. But I have known her from both places. Definitely go check that out and do a little raid rooney Alright, that's the one that's the hook. Babs, do you have any suggestions? I know you're probably busy figuring out the Discord thing, though. Hmm, I'm starting to notice this is curling a little bit at my corners. Um, they won't be corners much longer. Kitty1317, excellent. All right. Is she a Twitch kitten? Is she a creative? What is she doing tonight? Metallic Lace is offline. She rated Chameleon. That's interesting. Metallic Lace rated me, too. So, I don't know if she... Uh, 
and chameleon raided here also and so Kayla's rabbits those three really sizable raids so that's pretty awesome My Discord is Pegasus Sister thirty seven thirty four. Sister, did you get food yet? Or have you just been like hanging out and forgetting to eat, girl? Girl, guy, actually, dude. Man damn it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Oh man. Pronouns are becoming so difficult. So I communicate with a lot of people from a lot of different countries in my line of work right now. And one of the clients that we deal with, they've actually started in their signature adding, uh, you know, you have you know, the job title, address, you know, com it's like company name, job title, address, phone number. And then one of the other things I started adding is preferred pronouns. Okay. I mean, I thought because sister is sister SIS, but then maybe I thought it was something else. And I just got myself all confused. Yeah. But yeah, so in professional communication, uh, people are adding at their signature preferred pronoun, and it's like, you know, uh, you know, she, her, you know, she slash her, or he slash him, because some of the names are, I, I work people from all over the, the world, not just uh, in the U.S., so some of the names, you look at it, you're like, I have absolutely no idea what gender that person is. I work with someone named Jorma. That's a male. Uh, Ravindra, male. And then there's a. Uh, I don't actually. I think most of the names surprised me that are male. Ravindra didn't surprise me. That one was one that I knew. It's an it's an Indian name. Um, but my coworker struggled with that. Oh, um. Micah, that was a hard one for me to, to figure out. M A I K E. No, M A A I K E. Micah. Male or female, guys? <laughs> My niece spells people, specifies people as human, so an adult is a big human. Oh, elf, that's so cute. It also makes her sound like an alien. Hi, human. Hi, big human. Unless she's not a child. I'm, I'm picturing, like, a five-year-old doing this. Um, I mean, maybe she's in her teens. It's a little... Pick it up from Vampirina, uh, the Disney show. Got it. Huzzah! Huzzah to the Sabs! Okay, she's nearly five, alright. I kind of want to watch that show now. It sounds like it would be neat. Especially if they're just, like, calling people human. Hey, human! Hey, you said a Disney show? Is it a TV show? I think I really need to see that now. And remind me some other day after I've seen it why I needed to see it. And I can totally tell you if I see it. You were a bit lost. You said Vampirina. I thought the game, Vampire the Games. Oh, like Vampire the Masquerade? Vampirina is a vampire, and yes, it's on Disney. 
Junior or the Disney Now app. Okay. Hmm. Those sound like things I'd have to pay for. I have some friends who work at Disney. Maybe they can, like, help me access some of that. Selected episodes are free on the app, and the app is free. Okay, thank you, something else. I almost bit my tongue when I said that. Do not this one. Okay, I am liking the the angle of the curve here for the back. Go ahead and do that. So this is the angle of the curve in the back. And I'm more like this. There we go. So that's what we got. We're going to go down until we get to about two and a half inches at the bottom. Uh, and when we hit two and a half inches, then we'll just kind of make it straight and then curve it around and then attach it back up here. So we'll have curvy legs. And then we'll have that. And then I made some, need to make some cute little diagonals here. And then it also wants the little flap. These are mail briefs. They want a little flap line. It was what it looks like. So let's go ahead and stream. Thanks, guys. You've been absolutely fantastic today. This has been a, this has, this has been a fantastic stream. So happy you guys could all make it. All right, I'll turn on the face cam while I'm looking around. <laughs> And my yarn ball with my Malabrigo. Dewberry colored Malabrigo. So awesome. It's such a great shade of purple. It's almost like it's darker than Twitch purple. Hola. Yeah, hola, for real. All right. So the suggestion was kitty one three. And I have hiccups now. Boo. One three one seven. Let's go take a look and see what they're up to today. Oh, the rest of night. Thank you, sister. That is very nice. A little thumbs up, dude. Boop. Nail art. Be slow. Let's hope the tablet works. All right, let's see. Hmm. Is she doing a... Oh, I thought that was a... She's doing fan art, it looks like, or just kind of anime-esque. I'm going to sleep, you all sleep well. Oh, sister, let's see. Forgetting. <laughs> all right, let's, let me check out some nails here. I do want to go ahead and host someone from one of the the groups. You didn't forget? No, no, forgetting. Put a space in between the for and the getting. Yeah, I had to read that twice. All right, let's go summon Twitchkin's community. 
What? I'm the only Twitch kitten streaming in the community? That's so weird. I'm not sure I like the way the new, um... Okay, yeah, the search button. The search is weird. The search is strange. So... Mm. Oh, there's someone doing... I might. No, I mean, I want to... Painting? Let's see. How about you guys think about we go to Champion Tofu? You like chill streams. His streams are pretty chill. He has a very calm, calming voice. Um... We'll go ahead and head over there. He's also doing a creative stream. It says he's doing um, some ASMR. Alcoholic. Sure, I will go wherever. Um, I can do a creative nation person. Um, I, I'm kind of rotating between the different groups I'm in. Uh, I haven't done anything with Twitch Kittens for a while. So I want to... Like a revolving door. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> I think you guys will actually like Champion. Uh, no, like Tofu. Um, I don't know many other streamers. I would... I kind of want to bring you guys somewhere where I, I know. Maybe some days I feel like new ones today. I kind of want to listen to Chill Tofu. So, uh, I hope you all have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, and let's... Go ahead and surprise the crap out of Tofu. I still need to make a raid call. Oh, I haven't done a raid call. Um, you can just type out, bring any love from the crochet couch. I like Tofu. Oh my god, I can't spell. Yeah, like that. I'm actually scared myself. Okay, sorry, sorry. All right. Protect the tofu raid incoming. Say. 